Hey, what's up guys, Winston here. If you have the future rich gaming motherboard, then take a look at this. Meet the Gigabyte B850 Aura's Elite Wi-Fi 7 motherboard. This motherboard uses AMD's B850 chipset and is suitable for all the latest Ryzen 7000, 8000 and 9000 series of processors on the AM5 socket. One of the unique features includes Gigabyte's X3D Turbo mode, which allows you to use non-X3D CPUs to achieve similar gaming performance levels as their X3D counterparts, simply by activating it in the BIOS. The motherboard features the digital twin 14 plus 2 plus 2 VRM solution with their premium capacitors and uses a six layer two times copper PCB, which is cooled by their VRM Thermal Armor Advanced, featuring a heat pipe and cooling vents. Expansion slots include one PCI 5x16 slot and two PCI 3x16 slot. It also comes with four DDR5 DIMM slots, supporting both XMP and export memory modules with speeds of up to DDR5 8200 OC. For storage, you get four SATA ports and one PCI Gen 5 M.2 slot, as well as two PCI Gen 4 M.2 slot, which is more than enough for most users. The motherboard features a quick release and screwless design with the Easy Latch Plus and Easy Latch Click for M.2 slots, as well as the PCIe Easy Latch Plus for easy installation and removal of GPUs. Other features include the Realtek 7.1 HD audio, the USB 3.2 Type-C, the support for Bluetooth, 2.5 GB LAN, and Wi-Fi 7 with the Easy Plug. We'll be testing this motherboard using a Ryzen 9 9950X along with 32GB of DDR5 7200 RAM. We'll also be using a GeForce RTX 4080 Super to see how the whole system performs. So let's put this into our test rig, but before we do that, let's do a quick unboxing and then we'll see you in a bit. Alright, let's do a quick unboxing of the Gigabyte B850 Aorus Elite Wi-Fi 7 motherboard. It uses the AMD B850 chipset and supports all the latest Ryzen 7000, 8000 and 9000 series of processors on the AM5 socket. Alright, let's take a look inside the box. All right, here we have the motherboard and we will take a look at this in a sec. We have a pair of SATA cables, a spare thermal pad for your M.2 SSD, an Aorus badge, the high gain antennae for your Wi-Fi 7, and we have some spare support pads for your M.2 SSDs, and this is the Gigabyte G connector for your front panel. The installation guide and uh, some information about your motherboard. Okay, here we have the motherboard. This is the Gigabyte B50 Aorus Elite Wi Fi 7. It comes in a nice black matte finish um, with some nice large heat sinks for your VRM and MOSFETs and a very large heat shield for your M.2 SSDs as well as heat sink for your chipset right there. All right, let's take a look at the top here. We have a one four pin and one eight pin PCI power connector for your motherboard. And along here we have two fan headers and one ARGB, three pin ARGB header there. We have a reset and power button here, a 24 pin ATX power connector there, HDMI and a USB type B for your front panel. And along here we have uh, four SATA ports and a USB 3 header and in the long bottom here we have the Clisimos header right there the front panel pinouts and we have one, two, three, four extra fan headers uh, two USB 2 headers here a TPM header a 4 pin RGB header and two 3 pin ARGB header there and then we have the uh, header for your audio okay for expansion slots, we have one PCI 5x16 slot and two PCI 3x16 slot. Alright, let's take a look at the M.2 slots. Underneath this uh, heat shield, we have the uh, PCI Gen 5 and two PCI Gen 4. So, uh, let me show you the easy latch system here. Just uh, unhook here and this whole heat shield comes off. And you can see that it comes with the thermal pads there for the PCI Gen 5 and also two slots there, M.2 slots for your PCI Gen 4. The easy latch system is quite nice to use. You just uh, line it up and then just kind of slots in place with a nice click. You also have the easy latch PCIe, um, which basically enables you to remove and uh, install your GPUs with ease. You just press this little button here and this uh, latch comes off. 
and you can remove your graphics card. And here we have four DDR5 DIMM slots supporting both XMP and Expo memory modules with speeds of a DDR5 8200 OC. Let's take a look at the I.O. We'll start off this end here with one display port, a Q flash button here, and we have four USB 2s, one USB 3.2, and uh, this is the Type C USB 3.2. We have uh, extra four USB 3.2 here, and then we have USB 3.2 Gen 2, two ports here, and also a 2.5 gigabit LAN. This is the uh, easy plug for the Wi Fi 7. Of audio, we have line out, mic in, and SPDIF. All right, so this is a very nice motherboard, and uh, the main thing about this board is that it's affordable. You can get this for about two hundred to two hundred twenty dollars, and uh, it's suitable for all the uh, latest Ryzen seven thousand, eight thousand, and nine thousand series of processors. We'll be testing this motherboard using a Ryzen nine ninety nine fifty X, along with uh, thirty gigabytes of DDR five seventy two hundred RAM. We'll also be using a GeForce RTX forty eighty Super to see how the whole system performs. Alright, so this was a quick unboxing of the Gigabyte B850 Aorus Elite Wi-Fi 7 motherboard. When AMD released their Ryzen 7 9800X 3D processor in November 2024, it was a tremendous success and it was well received amongst gamers and enthusiast users alike. And what better to pair this processor with the Gigabyte B8550 Aorus Elite Wi-Fi 7 motherboard? It comes with plenty of features, but most importantly, it's extremely affordable, costing around about $200. One of the unique features include Gigabyte's X3D Turbo Mode, which allows you to use non-X3D CPUs to achieve similar gaming performance levels as their X3D counterparts by simply activating it in the BIOS. During our tests, we use a Ryzen 9 9950X non-X3D processor along with 32GB of DDR5-7200 and a GeForce RTX 4080 Super. We managed to get some pretty decent scores in all of our benchmarks, including a Cinebench 2024 score of 2308 multi-core and 133 for single-core. For PC Mark 10, we got a score of 10,190 and a score of 16,712 for Pass Mark 11. For UL's Procyon Video Editing Benchmark, we got a score of 11,990 and a score of 225 for the AI Computer Vision Benchmark. For 3D Mark Nomad Steel and Speedway, we got very good scores of 6,653 and 7,564 respectively. And finally, for Port Royal and Town Spy, we got a Mason score of 18,771 and 26,027 respectively. All in all, I'm more than happy with its overall performance, so well done to Gigabyte. If you're planning to build a gaming PC using AMD's new Ryzen 9000 series X3D processors, then take a look at the Gigabyte B850 Aorus Elite Wi-Fi 7 motherboard. It offers good performance and a decent amount of features, including the Easy Latch Plus and Easy Latch Click for easy DIY assembly. You can check out the full review on our website at funkic.com. And there you have it. That was a quick look at the Gigabyte B850 Aorus Elite Wi-Fi 7 motherboard. A feature-rich gaming motherboard that offers good performance and is suitable for all the latest Ryzen 7000, 8000 and 9000 series of processors. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a like and leave a comment down below. Don't forget you can actually buy this via the links in the description. And of course, visit our website for more news, reviews and hot tips. Oh yeah, don't forget, hit the subscribe button for more. Until next time, this is Winston for FunkyKit.com.